In this video tutorial, I'm going to be talking about editing your mobile coupon copy and design. Uh, the first area is the actual design. Uh, so we give you a few mobile uh, coupon backgrounds. Uh, I'm going to be choosing black just to show you what it looks like and updating inside of the iPhone preview here. Uh, this iPhone preview on the side here is just a representation. It's not exactly what's going to look like on your phone because uh, it is squished a little bit. But I'm just going to change the background here just to show you uh, again what it's doing here. As you can see, it's now changed uh, in the preview. Um, for the logo, uh, you have to put in the full path to this logo um, image, and it will be resized to fit uh, the phone. So it's going to be sized to 320 by 86 pixels high. Um, no matter what image you put in there, it's going to be resized to that. So it's best to actually put in uh, that uh, or design it for that size. And we have images placeholder right there just for the placeholder. Um, the next part here is the coupon copy. There's the coupon headline, which is shown up in the ticket here. Um, and then there's also the coupon copy, which is shown up under the ticket. Um, the next part of it is the coupon code. Uh, this is the code that will be uh, your well, clients, uh, viewers will be using to redeem this coupon. So this can be anything you want. Um, if you do get rid of it and make it blank, uh, you can uh, disable this feature. So if I reload the iPhone here, as you can see, it's now gone. So if you don't need that um, on the coupon, you can get rid of it. I'm just going to put something here just for a placeholder and save it and just update it here. As you can see, it's still there. Um, the next part of it is to share this headline. So you can change this to anything you want. As you can see, it shows it under the call. And it's basically just a, a headline for you to a call to action to, to share this coupon with your friends or with their friends. I'm um, going to update this and show you that it's going to be updated in real time. It shows right there. Um, the next part of this is the actual call. Uh, call to claim is what we call it. Um, this is There's two parts. This is the call to action copy, and then there's also the phone number. So I'm, right now I'm going to be changing the uh, call to action copy. So this is what it's going to say on the button. Um, so right now it's like, uh, book now. And then once they click on that, it's going to call the phone number inside of their phone. Um, so if I reload here, you can see that button has now changed. It says book now. And when they tap on this, it's going to call uh, the number under this. If you don't want to have a phone number, you can just leave this blank and it will not show the call button. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. As you can see, it's now disabled the call button. Um, the next part here, if you, I'm just going to give it a headline, but remember, it's going to call that number under um, whatever number that is. You can also track the phone calls, uh, how many times it's been uh, clicked on uh, at the top here. So in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to do or how to edit a desktop coupon. Um, as you can see, it's very simple. Uh, the desktop coupon is pretty much the same, but this is the coupon that people see when they uh, share your coupon um, through different mediums because um, right now this is the mobile coupon uh, and then once they share it on Facebook or Twitter it goes to the desktop since they're going to be on a desktop computer um, and if they aren't on a desktop and they're viewing Twitter on their phone but they click on the link it's going to redirect them from the desktop coupon to the mobile coupon. Thank you.